Gut, the inside story of our body's most underrated organ by Julia Enders. Your life began with three tubes. One turned into a knot, which became your heart and cardiovascular system. The second bent upwards into your head and became your brain and nervous system. And your third tube became your gut and your intestinal tract. And people always talk about how amazing the heart is and how amazing the brain is, but no one's talking about how amazing that third tube is your gut. That's what the author here sets out to do, to make the case for how amazing the gut is. In her words, the closer you look at the gut of a person, the more beautiful it becomes. So this was a very eye-opening read. I was fascinated basically all the way through. In the first half of the book, she talks about the eating process, how saliva works, how saliva is produced. Fun fact, saliva is actually unfiltered blood. I didn't know that. This book is littered with fun little facts like that. Starting from the top with the mouth, going down the esophagus, and what exactly happens in the stomach after you eat something, how it gets processed, how nutrients are extracted, and all the way through the intestines. It really is amazing what our body goes through that we can take matter and extract energy out of it to move our muscles maintain body temperature it's a fascinating process that as you as you look at it i was keeping a list of interesting facts as i went through this book but here are a few of them that, that jumped out to me lactose intolerance increases with age she explains why in the book one gram of feces contains more microbes than there are people in the world she explains probiotics and antibiotics and why each are important. One of the most mind-boggling ones to me was where the stomach is. She says that the top of your stomach is about at nipple height. And that is way higher than I always pictured it. I was thinking for the past 30 years or so, when I picture eating something, in my mind I have a mental imagery of that food going down to the softer part of the abdomen below the rib cage. And it's weird to think that I've been wrong about that for three decades just because I haven't thought about it before, haven't looked it up in a diagram. It's weird to be off by that much. This is the fun of reading and learning new things. She also has a lot of fun facts about feces that I would never want to Google. They're interesting to know and I'm just going to leave it at that. In the second half of the book, she talks about the microbe balance in the stomach and in the digestive tract. She frames it from the perspective of all the microbes within our system evolved along with us. <laughs> it's like our, our joint evolutionary companions that we have this symbiotic uh, relationship with. It's weird to think that there's a complex network of microorganisms inside me at all times and always has been and always will be. And more than that, how the microbes interact with what I eat, how the, the microbes interact with my brain and how the, each person's microbes inside their system is kind of like a fingerprint that you create over the span of life through your genetics and what you eat. It's really interesting. One of the creepier examples that she brings up in the book on this is in mice that have, I think it's called toxoplasmata or something, where the microbes in the mouse's stomach convince it that it needs to get eaten by a cat because the the microbes inside the the mouse's stomach want to be in a different place and there's something about like when it smells cat urine it it starts this chain reaction and the mouse will lay down like a lamb to the slaughter <laughs> because the microbes in uh its stomach which is kind of creepy. Apparently there's some correlation on a smaller scale in humans, which I just like not to think about. Also, it turns out that germs are important. She talks about how there are mice that live in a very sterile environment and given sterilized organic food. In the author's terms, those mice are weird. They eat too much, they sleep too much, their immune system's not as strong, so they're, they're much worse off for not interacting with with the natural microbes of the world it's nice to know that we're in this r world that's full of germs and that's not a bad thing that's just part of what our bodies are used to
After I finished this book, I remember eating a sandwich and it was a whole new experience because <laughs> of all these facts that are just popping into my head as, uh, as I'm like chewing and swallowing and thinking about where the food's going and what's going to happen next and how long everything's going to take, which is really cool. It's really fun to know how the body works. I would give this book four stars. If you have any recommendations, leave them in the comments below.